Hello and welcome to Replica Blunt Guns. Today I have another interesting review for you and this time we're gonna be looking at the small Rite P114. It's one of their newer models. Uh, this is the, I think it's the smallest Rite uh, out on the market currently. Uh, you know, basically they have quite larger guns and uh, yeah, that, that, that gun is very interesting for me because I I haven't seen it before. And basically, it is a very small, compact gun. Um, about the gun, of course, it is uh, as it is modern right now. Uh, it has a top metal part, metal slide, and everything. And the bottom part is made of polymer and hard plastic. Uh, it is a single action only blank firing gun, which means that if you pull the trigger, it will not shoot unless it's loaded. As you can see, uh, it didn't have many, it didn't have any, any controls on the gun at all, except the safety switch, which is right over here. As you can see in safety mode, uh, in fire mode, you can squish the trigger and when you pull it on safe, it blocks the trigger. So that's how it operates. And this lever also we used to field strip the gun and we'll go to this later. So about the gun, it's very small, as I told you. Uh, the gun is, the barrel is obstructed, but I will show you this later uh, the the grip is quite comfortable but of course it's it's small and I, I'm not a fan of small pistols but it is uh, it is very comfortable uh, you can hold it tight uh, it has sides of course which you don't really need and basically down there is the mag release button or switch or lever or whatever you want to call it uh, like this and it pops the magazine out it is a small single stack magazine which can hold up to seven standard 9mm PAK rounds you stack them on top of each other and you're ready to shoot and basically as with most of the small guns uh this switch here also acts as a slight release lever which means that when your magazine is empty and you make your final shot and when the slide stays back whoops yeah uh, th that's one of the problems i found with this gun is that the slide catch is very very loose so once the slide stays back you just get your mags down a bit and it comes back on its place. But as you can see, that's that was one of the first things that I noticed about the gun is that the slight catch lever definitely don't work. I'm not saying it didn't work well because as you see, it works sometimes. But when I pull it with my hand, I can get it back on its place without even touching this button so that's probably the main issue I had with this gun but anyway down there you can see it has a very tiny weaver rail which I have no idea what you can attach on it but you probably can fit some very small tiny flashlight or uh, laser pointer if you want your gun to look cooler and basically let's go to the field stripping of the gun all you need to do is get this lever down, pull it out, it's not very easy. And of course you get the mag out. And from now on it's the same as with all the blind guns, back, up, and that's all you're gonna find. That's very heavy, thick metal slide. 
and in here we have the spring spring guide and everything that you need to disassemble in order to clean your gun as you can see the barrel is obstructed it has metal rod inside it but it's not fully obstructed so you can easily use all type of special rounds you know pvc and cs and etc and so from now on if you want to reassemble the gun so that, that's it I'm, I'm not gonna get the spring guide out you know you know how it looks when you want to reassemble the gun you just repeat everything in reverse order like this now in order to get this thing in here again you will need a tool in my case i have this screw that you just need to pull here and push a little bit okay it's it's quite hard to do it because yeah it's really really messed up okay Yeah, I, I don't like that type of system where when you need an extra tool in order to reassemble your gun and it, as you can see it's quite hard to put it back in. <clears throat> yep, I'll need to try again. Oh, I have to stop it just to make sure that it fits in and here it is. It's, it's really hard to do but not impossible and you have your gun reassembled once again so this is the Rita P114 as you can see once the gun is loaded you can see the hammer outside and basically that's it small compact gun by Rita pretty nice but it has its issues so basically not not my favorite but but it's cool if you want it for collection or very very concealed carry so that's it if you like my videos feel free to subscribe that helps me a lot thank you and goodbye